My Midlife Crisis. This is a 61-yard field goal attempt. Ball is spotted. The kick is away. Yes, I am in a midlife crisis, and I am so freaking happy to be here. The only difference between those of us who are in a midlife crisis and those who aren't is awareness. At 56 years old, with eyes wide open in this game of life, I have already passed my first two quarters. The halftime's over, folks. I did my time in the locker room and reevaluated where I was in the game. I mended my injuries, put on the bracing and protection, took another close look at the playbook, got some good coaching and help from the trainers, and developed a sound strategy for my second half. And now, here I am, back on the field. Right now, in this game, I am so aware that I am behind in the score and the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking, folks. It won't slow down for any of us. My halftime evaluation revealed that I've played the first half from my head. I played safely. It still got me hurt. At times, I chose to sit the bench and watch others play and secretly wish I could play with such fervor with which I saw some on the field. But to do that would have meant risk. So I sat and watched with the clock still ticking instead of really getting in the game. And when I did play, I know from the stands through the eyes of the spectators watching me, it might have appeared that I played risky or balls to the wall, but I know privately that often I've played off my heels instead of from my toes. With the clock ticking, I played it safe. I played not to lose instead of playing to win. And still, the clock is ticking. And I'm still behind. And now with this crisis, with this keen awareness, I realize that every second that falls off that clock is creating in me just a little more pressure to play harder. To play not just with my head, but with all my gut and all my heart. Listen, I've got skin in this game. It's my game. Time is running out. I want to not only play with a sound strategy, but I also just need to move my freaking feet because now I'm in the clutch. To hesitate for even a second is to at the very least be run over or in the worst case scenario, to miss an opportunity to score. Even when I don't know certain plays all that well, if I move, I'm at least committed to something. If I choose to play off my toes with my eyes forward, I'm so much more likely to make something spectacular happen than if I play tentatively. I am so tired of playing not to lose. My name is Dawn, and yes, I am in the middle of a midlife crisis. I'm in the game. And time is running out. No more sitting the bench. No more playing tentatively. The plays we remember usually happen in the clutch and in the second half. The pressure brings out the best in the players who choose to play under pressure. The closer to the end of the game, the more important the strategy and intensity. No more playing not to lose. I'm in it to win it. And the kick is... It's gone! If you'd like to hear more inspiring messages, support our mission to leave people better at dawnandlucky.com. To receive every recording and writing we produce, access to our private group full of inspiring folks from all around the world, To get the inside scoop and pre-releases on Amazing Living podcasts and videos and access to exclusive Facebook Live events, please be sure to pledge at the partner or higher level at dawnandlucky.com.